Ballin G62 says, dang, your vids are great. Keep up the amazing work. Plus, your tutorials are in good detail. Love it. I really want to thank you, Fallen, and everybody. I might be sounding a little repetitive, but really, as a kid in college who just randomly got motivation one day to make YouTube videos about two years ago, just as a hobby, just for fun, to finally be getting all these comments, positive feedback, it's just absolutely amazing. So again, just thank you all so much. Epic Elites HD says, great vid, I'm just not good enough to do it. Bro, I really like this comment because I thought the same thing when I was new to Rocket League watching Jazer with 6k subs pulling his fancy flashy shots in his videos. And I'm not saying at all that I'm as good as Jazer or whatever necessarily, but it's the same idea. So remember, it's just a process. If you play and enjoy Rocket League enough, you will get better in time. On All Tall says his fave YouTuber is back. Thank you so much, On. It's funny because until I read your comment, I didn't really see myself as a YouTuber, just so much as a guy who just uploads YouTube videos. Which might sound weird, but I think there's a difference to be honest. So thank you so much. So, some amazing viewers have been wondering how they could help my channel out to allow me to make more videos. So I created this Patreon, link will be down in the description, in which you could do just that if you so choose. But I do want to stress that you do not in any way need to support me through Patreon. Just joining me here on YouTube as a viewer is the greatest thing you can do, and I love you for that. So thank you everyone, and let's hit some ceiling shots. To start this tutorial, I just jumped into a ranked game with a plan to just hit some ceiling shots to throw in. And quickly I realized, man, I am I'm bad at this. Ceiling shots are something I never I just never really practiced or attempted. So instead I set out into unranked to practice and I did actually start making some progress. I think when learning new skills like ceiling shots, it's a good idea to break it down into a process. So that's what I did. First, you want to get the ball rolling towards a wall and give it a lob hit from underneath. This is without a doubt the most essential step I found to hitting a ceiling shot. If you can get the power down perfectly to give the perfect ceiling shot lob, you will have a really good time learning this. The key is to get it to lob as close to the ceiling without actually touching the ceiling. Granted, that is not the only way to do it. You can hit it really at any point, but the problem is people who are decent will intercept the ball if you let it go too low. And the problem if you if you hit it too hard, then it will hit the ceiling and do this, which is just bad. So after you get that lob, try to drive up to the ceiling and line yourself up for a shot. Remember that you don't have to rush this. The point of that lob pass you give yourself is to arc it in a way that gives you time to align yourself for a shot. A lot of times I found myself driving almost in a curve so that I could get behind the ball and line up with the goal. And then from here, remember it's very important do not jump off of the ceiling, just let yourself fall off of the ceiling. There's an important difference and I find it works well if I hold square to drift off or if I just pull off and boost to disconnect. The reason being for this is that if you come off of a surface without jumping, you keep your double jump forever. So if you do jump off of the ceiling instead of letting yourself fall off, you only have a small window to then use your double jump to hit the ball again. Whereas falling off of the ceiling, you can hold your double jump as long as you want, which is part of what makes ceiling shots so dangerous and hard to defend. So I know in this clip the defender wasn't playing, but I started to learn that the more you can get underneath the ball while it's falling off of the ceiling, the better. At this point, I jumped back into competitive to see if I could apply any of this training, and I was actually pretty happy with myself. Although I still wasn't hitting a lot of them at first, some of my ceiling shots were looking a lot better than before, and I was coming pretty close. So next, I started queuing with someone who had recognized me in-game, and we were really killing it. We went on like a, it was probably like an 8 or 9 game win streak, and he hit this ceiling shot in one of our games, and it really put everything I had learned prior into it. He had the perfect lob, falling off the ceiling, and then he got the perfect position underneath the ball and then chipping it back in an upwards direction into the goal. So I think with that I will wrap up this tutorial. I'm sorry if maybe this one was a little bit less in depth as my previous ones. I hope you were still able to learn something or at least enjoyed watching my journey and learning how to ceiling shot myself. And so, I am almost 3.5k subs. Just Holy moly. Uh, I was supposed to announce the Bitcoin winner from my giveaway 
at 3k subs and 3k is just absolutely blowing by so go krypton this is great you're awesome thanks for the giveaway good luck for your channel growth thank you so much crypto krypton by the looks of your name it looks like you are quite invested in the crypto universe so congratulations to yourself you have earned $25 copy paste your address head over to Bitcoin copy paste your address here um, all right so I just bought I didn't have any Bitcoin at the moment so I bought $30 it was like a to whatever fee and this is ridiculous Bitcoin has a 1595 fee for sending $27 which is more than more than 50% so I don't, I don't know what's up with Bitcoin but uh, I'm not sure what I can really do about that that's kind of out of my control but I'll send you this the uh, I, I did hit send max so 2779 is what's being sent congratulations ice pick 3k sub winner uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you'll see it in the video, too, if you watch this, so congratulations.